Hello, this is Paler Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. So last time we defeated Aldrich the Devourer, and we uh, returned to the dungeon. That is so nasty. Anyway, our goal this time is to uh, search deeper and figure out what we need to find here. Okay. Oh. Key to the barred window in the earth old dungeon, but the window only leads to the bottomless black pit below and above a paltry view of the ruined profane capital. The very architecture appears to be a cruel joke and the jailers played or the jailers played on would be escapees. Key to the barred door. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so basically this key is not going to get us into the cell, it's just for that window. Okay, no! For the for the love, I really hate that backflip. Dragon Crest Ring. Let's take a look. Yeah, here it is. Greatly the sorceries. Special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Greatly the sorceries. 
Apropos to the dragon school, the steel depicts an everlasting dragon. A bellowing dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer. Okay. Well, if I ever need to greatly boost my sorceries, I know what to wear. out of range of this archer. Archers never have that much health. Like, they're, they're the same as everyone else, really. You'd think. Down there, we have up there. Let's go down here first. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Feigned coal. Let's see. Enable dark, lacerating, and hollow infusion. 
coal used for weapon infusion, remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital preserved in an icy skull, give to the blacksmith and the shrine to allow the use of gems for dark blood and hollow infusion. That is very nice. Very nice. Okay. So we really need... So I guess the next step is, uh, get rid of those. We, uh, definitely don't want more than one at a time. Okay, well, we already have one. I think we might have alerted more than one. Okay. okay, let's just hold off for a second. It looks like they... Too close for comfort. A bit too close. or not. We don't need all three of you. We really don't. Or however many. Yeah, three. Okay, let's just try and get this thing real quick. They're headed around the edge uh, or the corner. Wow. Oh, that's just Okay, that just leads back into the place we already went. feel bad.
So creepy. So creepy. For a second, I'd been. Never mind. Okay. Health back. Let's see, we have that one. Is that the only one left? I think so. Guarding. An NPC? Locked door. Okay, well... I guess the silky doesn't work for that. What about you? Fan. Okay. Oh my goodness, just... Wow! Oh my, for the love! Jeez. Well, now I only have three assists. Okay. Yeah, no, we need to find a, a key in order to get in there, I think. Xanthus ashes. That's freaking... Why? Frickin' heart attack. <sighs> Leaf colored crown ring bestowed upon the princess of Ulus Isle. Ancient land of golden sorcery is reduced to spell FP consumption but also lowers HP. Ulus Isle is synonymous for its lost sorceries, of which the Xanthus sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact of great magical heritage. 
Yeah, well, we we know that princess. Don't we? Xanthus ashes, new items. Umbral ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long last land. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. They were called Xanthus colors, but some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. Okay, well, I'm sure that's effective. Okay, well, new items. New items are always good. We'll go that way in a sec. Yeah, we can't go that way. Find out. Looks like a gargoyle. Dark Souls 3 gargoyle. Whoa! as flasks. like death and we have a ladder up there and an item right there bonfire Another ladder. Okay, so Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. 
I only hope these new wares content thee. I'm sure they will. <laughs> That's overkill. Now we could dress in yellow. Wood green ring slows equipment degradation. Might as well get it. I mean, our equipment does not degrade very fast, but if. You never know. Fill, I guess. Oni oh, Slayer, great arrows. One. Be sure. I'm sure that probably requires a great bow. Ah, Wait, did we read that? What needs smithing? Yeah, we did. Okay. Ah, just what need? Lords, where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? Okay, what were we doing? Okay, yeah, I think we want to go down. Maybe. See what's over here first. There is fire and the gargoyle, because of course. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's pull this thing first.
Slayer, great arrows. Great bow must be around here somewhere then. Large soul. Oh, lovely. Four of them. Because why not? Inside the dungeon. Handmaid's dagger. Let's read that. Hmm. Dagger used by handmaids at the profaned capital. Each successful attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. That's great. That's a fun thing to take pleasure in. Alright, so we have two gargoyles. There's an item at the end of this hallway. But, uh... We don't want more than one gargoyle at a time, I think. If we have to fight two, we're screwed. Okay. Well. Oh. Branding iron used by the jailers prowling Arathal dungeon. Press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Estus healing. Charge, hold iron, yeah. Okay, well, that'd be really nice because, well, if we come across foes that use us to ceiling. The question is, how long does it temporarily block it? a boss chamber for sure. Be 
screwed. I might be screwed. I'm screwed. Fun. Fun. Not fun. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We've, we've explored some of the profane capital. Or arrived here. Got some good things. Uh, when we come back next time, we will continue. So until then, see you and bye.